15 years ago, I got invited by a guy who's like, John, you need to be part of this group called EO. At that event, there was a breakout, and the guy who was uh, speaking was a guy named Cameron Harold. And I had no idea who Cameron was, but I looked at his bio and I'm like, a junk company. I'm like, that's weird. But I looked at the numbers, 2 million to 127 million with no debt. And I was like, holy crap. I mean, if I could just get that person, if I could get them in my corner, not just as a client, but as a partner, a mentor, an advisor, like my business could change forever. For the next 10 years, I went and sent him the full $12,000 Cutco set and wine tools and whatever else. I probably invested 25 grand in that one relationship. And we always get the question like, John, like when you're at Google, like why'd you keep giving gifts? You had them, you had them with the Brooks Brothers. Why keep going? And I said, because of ROR. And they're like, what's ROR? And I said, return on relationship. In business, we always want an ROI as an entrepreneur. We put a dollar in, we gotta get $10 back out or $5 back out or $3 back out. And Facebook ads are cool. They can get a two or three X, radio ads, entertaining, all these different things. What's interesting is $25,000 in, into Cameron over 10 years sounds like a lot. But if I wanted to hire Cameron as a sales rep for one year, if I offered him $2 million, he would say no. I got my own business. But because I loved on him and poured in that relationship and personalized things because I wanted to, not because I had to, Cameron went and became my sales rep. When I was begging to speak for free six, seven years ago, my first 10, 20, 30, 40, 50,000 hour speaking gigs all came because of Cameron. When he got double booked on a stage, he'd be like, you gotta talk to John Rulin, trust me. When I added it up a few years ago, that 25,000 has turned into multi seven figures. Even at one seven figure, I'm not a mathematician, that's a 50X ROR.